Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Broadway Got This, and today we have a brand new video series that has been highly requested by the community, and that is an actual walkthrough for beginners from one to 50 and then to CP160. I will show you what goes through my mind when creating a new character, from picking the race, what I do when I level, and all the ins and outs to CP160. This is a new take on bringing you the beginner guides in action so you see it firsthand. Before we get started, I do want to mention, if you want to watch me play live, I stream on twitch.tv slash probably got this on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come by the chat, hang out, ask questions. Link is in the description. Also, our brand new website has launched at probablygotthis.com. Go check it out. There's some amazing work done there by Josh in our community. This has a good bit of text guides and other amazing things there. And lastly, make sure to join our growing Discord and amazing beginners and vets are there. The links to the Discord, Twitch, and website are in the description. So again, my channel consists of loads of beginner guides. As you guys have seen, the point of this video is to give you a look at my journey from a brand new character, from creation to CP160. A lot of people in the Discord and Twitch said that this would help them out a lot. So that is what we're going to do. I don't know how many videos this series will have, but if you like it, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want more of this series. So I'm not doing the character creation live here, but as you can see, I'm creating a Dark Elf Nightblade. This was voted on by my community on stream. And they also got to name my character Abra Kadabra. The Dark Elf will be nice because if you have seen my race guide at all, Dark Elves are one of the most versatile classes in the game. So it allows me to uh, pick, you know, eventually down the road if I want to be DPS, healer, or tank. I can kind of just decide that. So if you haven't yet, go check out that race guide in the description below or at the top of the screen. But picking your race is a big thing for you when you make your character. I'm not going to go into super big detail with this, but in general, play a race that looks interesting to you in the long run. Good stamina DPS races for in general are Orcs, Red Guards, Khajiit, and Dark Elves. Good Magicka races for DPS are Breton, Altmer, and Dark Elves. Good Healer races are normally Breton, Altmers, and Argonians. And good races for tanks are Imperials, Argonians, and Nords. When you pick your class, there are four base classes, Nightblades, Templars, Sorcerers, and Dragonites. The two DLC classes, Wardens and Necromancers, are in the... Uh, Morrowind uh, expansion and the uh, Necromancer is in the Elsewhere expansion. All of these classes have strengths and weaknesses. Again, you can check out my class video in the description to give you a better idea of what you should pick uh, based off what you want to play. But good healer classes in general are Wardens and Templars. Good tanks are generally Wardens, DKs, and Nightblades. Good stamina DPS is usually Nightblades, Necros, and Templars. Good Madge DPS is Nightblades, uh, Sorcerers. Templars, Necros, DKs, basically everything in my opinion. But again, choose a class that is interesting to you and try it out. So we have spawned into the game. And this is actually the first, um, basically the first uh, tutorial that I've done in a while. And they've actually revamped this. This is for the Grey Morwen. So we're going to check this out. So this is like the first beginner quest of... Yeah, so as you can tell the main quest markers have that diamond over me. his head you see that special looking diamond this is the main quest markers in the game yes. or the Thank zone you. specific quests like in the game so here it shows you basically the the basically the basics of the game you guys if you're very if you're brand new to this game pay attention to these basics okay so you click once do a light attack you do your right click to hold and then you hold your left click to charge your heavy attack. And then you block, and then you block again, um, and then it wants you to do a charge heavy attack, and you saw that one there, I uh, did interrupts. There's another interrupt, you see that red? That's an interrupt, another interrupt right there. We got level two, claim. Now, this is the first part where you put your points into your skills, okay? This is important, in my opinion. Um, you can always re-roll these at the end, when you hit level 50 because you'll get a free scroll. But what I recommend y'all is I don't recommend you splitting up your stats here, Magicka, Health, or Stamina. If you know that you wanna make a Stamina character, put all your points into Stamina. If you know you wanna make a Magicka character, put all your points into Magicka. If you're a healer, that's usually the same thing. If you're a tank, it's gonna be about two thirds, I would say, or maybe three fourths into Health, and then more into Stamina than Magicka as a tank. But, when you're leveling 250, you can put it in either one uh, Magicka or Stamina for a tank, uh, just because you're gonna need some DPS on your bar. So 
since I have a Nightblade, I want to make this into a Magicka Nightblade. So I'm going to put my first point into Magicka. Now it's going to take us to our skill bar. We have one skill point available. Okay. I know as a Magicka Nightblade, I want to use, I think, Assassin's Blade. I'm not sure about Veiled Strike, but I definitely want to use Strife as well. So I'm going to use a skill point on that, and it's going to put it on my bar right here. So right here, it lets you get basically anything you want, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm going to grab the Inferno Staff now. And I'm going to equip that because I want to be a Magicka character. And then if you press N, you can look at your objective right here. Okay, we gain the Destruction Staff line. Don't have any skill point chats, so we can't use anything. Make sure, again, if you are a brand new player, to try to look through this tutorial and get used to the mechanics. I do have a mechanics guide. You guys can check that out in the description as well. But this is something that you should do if you are a brand new player because mechanics are more important to the game than anything. Okay, now that we've leveled up again, so you get your first crown fortifying meal. You put your attribute points into this. You have some abilities here for destruction staff. Looks like you get soul magic as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna use my other two skill points first and put them each in one of my skill lines. The reason I'm doing this y'all is because if this is your first ever character and you don't you know, know maybe which role you're gonna play, it's best to level up each of these skill lines, okay? Because you want the passives, you want all the skills unlocked so you have abilities to use um you know you can have versatility and you can choose basically what uh skills you want to use if you want to switch your spec so i always put at least one skill from each line on my bar and then if i want to level up the bar faster i'll put more skills because basically if you have five skills on the siphoning bar on your skill bar when you level up it will level up the siphoning bar way quicker than if you just have one but right now we have it equal and we're doing just one of each. Okay, guys, we have finally reached out of the tutorial. That is something that, again, if you are on an alt character, you can choose to skip it at character creation screen. If you're not, uh, you can go through it. But it's something that I recommend every new player to this game doing because it does have some good basics in there. But it obviously certainly does not tell you everything about this game. But once you are in and out of the tutorial wherever you may be if you have the base game or you know just elsewhere whatever if you have the gray more edition you know your main quest tells you to go to solitude so that's something that you can go do but i'm going to first talk about real quick some things to do immediately before you do anything in the game and the first thing to do is open up your inventory because when you open up your inventory you're going to have traveler's luggage okay in there you're going to have five lock picks you're going to have a soul gem you're going to have a bow breaches and an inferno staff Okay, this Inferno Staff is better than the one you have in there, so just equip it, put on your breeches, put on any other armor that you have as well. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because you want to do that eventually so you can level up your armor lines. Now, speaking of your armor lines, again, if you are a Magicka DPS or healer, you're going to want to level up your light armor, which means you need to uh, you know, put on five pieces of light armor, in my opinion, and one piece of heavy and medium. If you are a stamina character, you're gonna want five pieces of medium, one light, one heavy. And if you are a tank, you're gonna want you know heavy armor. Now, I believe that you need to have at least two of each armor first to unlock the line eventually, but you basically just wanna unlock the lines and then level them up all just because there's passives in each of them that you can use, even if you're a DPS tank healer, we you know whatever you are. But this is all the armor that I have currently, but that gives you a nice little starter pack there um, of things and you know if you're not using a bow or a great sword or a destruction staff then you can find one in the world that's the first thing that you should do now if you are an alt character and this is this means if this is like your other character that you already have you know cp on your main character or whatever the other thing you need to do immediately is put your points into your champion trees yes these points actually matter for when you're below level 50. they don't do as much of an effect in my opinion um, I don't believe they statistically do as much, but they still help. I'm not going to do that here, though, with this series just because I'm trying to act like, you know, this is a brand new character. But make sure to put your points into your CP trees if this is your alt character. So after you put your points into CP, uh, there's some other things that you should do as an alternate character and this if this is your main first character. And I'm going to go into those now. 
first one is go to this way shrine and get the way shrine okay the way shrines are how you teleport throughout tamriel if you teleport to a way shrine from a way shrine you're not going to pay any gold if you teleport to a way shrine without being at a way shrine you're going to pay gold and it's going to go up the more times you use it in a set amount of time so what we're going to do is we are going to go into solitude what did that so if you are a alternate character and you already have um a mount go to Just your collections tab go to your mounts and equip a mount okay you press h to bring it up and that will bring your mount up now if you do not have a mount, then you don't worry. You can get a mount at level 10 for free, or you can get some in the crown store and stuff like that. Or you might have pre-purchased the game and already have gotten a mount or something like that. So, um, but if not, it's right here, y'all. And so the first thing that you want to do every time you log into the game and immediately when you get in is go to the stable master when you have gold. So the stable master's right here. We're not going to have any gold, I believe. Let's see if we have enough um we don't have enough gold yet i believe we need 250 so when you get 250 gold you're going to uh increase your amount speed you want to do this every day you can do this every 20 hours you want to do that first guys or you're going to move very slow like this okay i'm telling you you want to do that first okay the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to each of the guilds and unlock the skill lines so that is the fighters guild the mages guild the undaunted what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this way shrine, y'all. And again, I do want to reiterate a few things, y'all. You can play this game however you'd like. You do not have to do all this, but this is just suggestions, and this is what I do every time I create a new character, and this is what I do, or what I you know, did on my main character. Um, but you want to unlock these guilds, okay? So let's go right here. I'm not sure. Yeah, so this is this guy. Okay, cool. So look, right there. Complete the Fighter's Guild. Boom. 55 experience, 20 gold. And if you have any uh, experience scrolls, you can actually equip them and get some bonus XP as well. But that is good because we have it unlocked. The reason you want to unlock the Fighter's Guild is you will be leveling this pretty quickly. And you'll be using probably some of these skills. Okay. Now, you can do the Fighter's Guild quest lines. That's totally up to you. I'm not going to go into that right now. Let's go ahead and go to the Mage's Guild. So the Mage's Guild is down here. If you are not in Greymore, if this is not where you started out or whatever that's okay um this is just the simplest way to do that if not it's pretty simple otherwise too i guess but if you were in the Evanhart pact you'll want to go into davin's watch um and go into stone falls and you can go to the fighters guild right here and you can go to the mages guild right here then if you are in daggerfall covenant you can go to daggerfall then go to glenumbra um and go into the daggerfall city and fighters guilds here mages guilds here and then aldermary dominion you can go into Ardon. You will have all these way shrines too. Ardon's right here. Go into Vocal Guard. Fighters Guild right here. Mages Guild right there. But again, if you have Greymore, just come to Solitude. It's all right here for you. And look, join the Mages Guild. Join the Fighters Guild. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to join the Undaunted. Doing the Undaunted is in Vocal Guard. Uh, that's where I always go. And you have the way shrine, so you don't have to do anything about that. You don't have to travel to anyone. Um... You can just go right here to Vocal Guard, Way Shine, boom. When you get into Vocal Guard, you're going to go to the Salted Wings Tavern right here. And something I want to say too, guys, right here, this is the hooded figure. This is the actual main quest of the base game of ESO. That is going to appear to you, okay? If you want to do the main quest of ESO, just talk to him and start doing the quest like that. And when it comes to questing, okay... Questing is something, again, that is going to be up to you. If you're an alternate character, you can quest. If you're a, uh, if this is your main character, I recommend questing, okay? And I'll go into that briefly here in a second. But here's the Salted Wings Tavern. You go to the Salted Wings Tavern. You go up here. You talk to Turok's Red Claw. And then you listen to him. You get the skill line Undaunted. And there you go. You've got the three main skill lines that you need, in my opinion, for the guilds. I'm not going to go into crafting certifications in this video. That is going to be in the next video uh, part two. But real quick before we end this section of the video, um, I do want to talk about questing, okay? Once you get those lines, uh, you are going to do your crafting certifications. I'm going to show you what to do for that in the next video. But I want to talk about questing real quick. Like I said... 
whichever expansion that you have or whichever version that you buy, you're going to start out in a specific zone, okay? Maybe Vardenfell, Somerset, Elsewhere, Greymore. If you start out in Greymore, say that. You've got these main zone quests, these things right here, these diamonds, right? You see up here in the map completion, you have seven main quests in this zone. There are going to be a ton of other quests in the zone that are side quests. These right here, these CD, these markers, that means that's a side quest. That is not a zone specific quest. The zone specific quests though give you skill points. They give you special items. They give you a lot of experience, okay? It is up to you what you do with the zone quests. You can do this zone if you'd like. You can go over to Alkir Desert and do this zone. You can go to Malabator and do this zone. It's totally you know up to you, okay? If you want to do DLC zones though, something that you can do that you might not know is you can go to your collections, you can go to your stories, and you can go here, Zone DLC. Dragonhold, Elsewhere, Somerset, Merkmire, Clockwork City, Morrowind, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, Orsinium, Imperial City. All you gotta do is accept the quest and you will start the quest, okay? You don't need to travel anywhere, just accept it and then you can go to wherever it tells you to go. Same with Dungeon DLCs, you can do the quest there, that's gonna be later when you level, don't worry about that right now. So, that's what I would say about questing, again, it's going to be something that I will be doing in this series. I'm going to be showing leveling. I'm going to be showing questing. But it's basically a game that you can do whatever you'd like. But these are the first main things that I want to talk about when you first load in, okay? So again, do your mount speed. Join the fighters, the mages, and the undaunted guilds, okay? And then in the next series, we're going to talk about crafting certifications and leveling up to level 10 and beyond. But this, again, is the end of the video, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this first part. Again, I know it's a very basic start, but I hope that this is what people were looking for and wanting with this series. We're going to continue this, uh, hopefully, if you guys like this, and uh, we're going to complete it all the way to 160. I'm trying to keep these series shorter just so it's not as, uh, you know, long for you guys. You guys can watch them all in, like, one sitting or something like that. But... I hope you guys liked it. Uh, again, if you guys want to watch me play live and get some tips and anything like that, come to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash probably got this on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday on eight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can catch that link in the description. Again, you can also join our Discord and our guilds. The links are in the description, and our Instagram and Twitter is in there as well. And make sure to stop by the new website, probabygotthis.com. And I would like to give a... Thank you again to all my patrons uh, that have signed up for that. If you are interested in joining the Patreon, you can check out the link in the description. You get all the videos with early access um, at the lowest tier, and you get many more perks uh, the higher the tiers you go. But thank you again to all my patrons. I really appreciate you all. But until the next video of this series and my next guide, y'all, you guys have faith, be great, and I'll see you on ESO.